In the beginning, there's a very happy family living with each other. A man named Milton married his beloved girl, whose name is Martina. Martina's a very beautiful girl. She also fell in love with him. They decided that they have to save money for their marriage. They have a one dream that they want to build their house by themselves. Martina expressed her feeling about this, saying to Milton, You know, Milton, my only dream is to live with you in our house. I want to build it with you. It would be a very wonderful because we'll build it with our love and passion. Milton accepted this happily, saying to her, Of course, Martina, we're going to build our house with our love. My friend William is an engineer, and I think he'll help us greatly. Months passed, and they're working hard in order to build their house. They bought many things, and it cost too much money, but they could bear this. Milton's friend William helped them to build this house. Although this house is not a big one, but it represents their love. This house is a symbol of their passion, love, patience, loyalty, and affection. Finally, they succeeded in building this house thanks to William. They thanked him for this, saying, Thank you, William. Without you, we could not do anything. After that, they managed to marry next month. They prepared many things, bought clothes, electrical appliances, and other things for their house. The wedding day came. They were very happy. Martina wore a very beautiful white dress. That day was a very nice, and all people were happy. Then Martina and Milton spent their honeymoon in Turkey. Several days passed, and now Martina's pregnant. Everyone is happy about that, especially her husband Milton. Months passed, and Martina gave birth to a very beautiful baby girl named Ella. The family is very happy, and Ella grew up with her father and mother. Unfortunately, this overwhelming happiness didn't last long, as Martina felt very tired in her liver and suffered from it severely. And days passed, and unfortunately, she died. She died leaving her only daughter under the care of Milton. Milton was very sad about her death. He cried day and night like a baby. He suffered from her absence in the house, which they built with their love. He couldn't bear that. His daughter, Ella, suggested that they should leave the house because her father always imagines his wife in the house, so it's a very hard feeling. Her father refused that, saying to her, Me and your mother built this house with our love. We bought every stone. We did all things together. How can I leave this house? It's impossible. Ella became a mature girl. She studied her lessons hard. She wants to become an engineer in order to gain much money. She fell in love with a young man named John. John works as an engineer, too, in a large company. He's very clever and builds many houses perfectly. John expressed his love for Ella and told her that he wanted to marry her. She agreed immediately. Ella told her father that she loved him and that he wanted to marry her, and the father gave them his blessings. Marriage was a new step in Ella's life, and she's very happy that she married the person she loves so much and that they're working in engineering together, as, like that, she knew that they have a lot in common. But here it becomes clear that Father Milton is sad that he'll be left alone at home. He's home alone. He missed his wife Martina very much. Milton lives alone in that house. He's looking for a simple job to spend his time with, but he's getting old and, at the same time, was unable to work. One day, something very tragic happened. Milton went to the market, as usual in the morning, to buy fruits and vegetables. But when he came back, he was shocked. He was shocked that his house became ashes. There is a short circuit in the house, and it gets burned. The house in which he spent his best years with his beloved wife, which is a remembrance of his wife, was burned down. That old man stands in front of the house, which is ashes, and cries badly, not knowing what to do. Neighbors try to comfort and console him, and one of them suggested that he stay at home with him, but he thanked him and refused politely. He decided that he would go to his daughter's house because he was homeless at this moment. That old man went to them and saw that they would treat him with respect and provide him with everything he wanted, especially that he loves his son-in-law very much and considers him exactly as his son, as he said to him, You know I'd never had boys before, but I consider you as my son that I did not have. They welcomed him and tried to console him. He went to them crying and said to them, My house became ashes. It reminded me of my wife, as it was a very touching memory that touched my soul. Everything was lost. My wife and I worked so hard building that house. We spent so much money and worked so hard. Everything will never be the same again. 
My wife died and my house burnt. They try to calm him down, and his daughter said to him, Father, don't worry. We're with you. You're not alone. Our home is beautiful with you. Many days passed, and Milton did not feel comfortable in that house. He's embarrassed to do anything. He feels that he's become a burden on his daughter and his son-in-law. Milton noticed that his daughter and his son-in-law are spending most of their time outside and spending extra hours on the pretext that they're at work, but he feels that they're lying. He feels that they're evading him and bored that he's at home. They didn't say anything to him. Milton felt so let down and went into the room with a broken heart. He wants to work, but he's old and his health does not allow him to do so. Milton felt very sad that he's an unwanted person. Milton endured a lot of pain. He decided that he had to get rid of all that pain. He did not find any solution but to go to the nursing home. He feels ashamed when he eats with them, especially since everything has become expensive. They also buy medicine for him, but at a high price. He feels powerless and helpless. He wanted to live the rest of his life in the nursing home. He hinted at his daughter, saying that, I want to tell you something important. Life conditions have become difficult. The standard of living and everything has become expensive. I feel that I am a burden on you. You have a future and you will have children and you will need money. And my house burnt now. I want to go to the nursing home to spend the rest of my life there. They would provide me anything I want. They would take care of me. They would not leave me alone. You know, my daughter, I feel so lonely. You always leave here alone and go to work leaving in that house. I feel I don't belong here. It's not my shelter, not my place. You and your husband let me down. I've prepared my bag and everything. I want to leave this house in the morning and go to the nursing home. Milton expected that his daughter and son-in-law would prevent him from going to the nursing home and would give him everything he wanted, but what happened was very shocking. When Milton said all that, they did nothing. They shut up and didn't say anything. Milton was really surprised by that. That night, Milton was really disappointed. They didn't say anything. It was a very touching, emotive confrontation scene that reached our souls. We can feel this man's agony and his tragic life. We can feel his loneliness and alienation. We also sympathize for him and wish to help here. We could feel everything. Early in the morning, everyone in the house woke up, but Milton never slept that night. He's afraid of everything. He feels ashamed of his daughter but can't say anything. They took Milton's bags and got into the car. As they were in the car, Milton said, Thank you for everything. You've let me down so much and disappointed me. Thank you for temporary moments and days. I hope to live a good life in the nursing home. You are in too much of a hurry, said his son-in-law. There's something that will shock you even more. The old man replies, Something will shock me? What is it? Milton noticed that his son-in-law had not taken the nursing home road, but had changed the route. He asked about it, but no one answered. Milton got out of the car and was surprised by something amazing. He was surprised that his burnt house was there, but looks like a new house. He hugged his daughter, and his daughter said to him, Now you know, Dad, why my husband and I spend most of our time outside. We did it for you to make you happy. I know that the house you built with my mom is very important to you, so we decided to fix everything. We worked a lot in that, but now I can see a smile on your face, and this is enough for me to forget any fatigue I went through. Milton hugged his daughter tightly, and it was a very touching scene between a father and his daughter. Milton said to his daughter's husband, I've misthought of you. Don't be mad at me. I'm so happy that you helped my daughter so that the ashes became a new house. Milton regretted that he thought badly of them and misunderstood everything. He thought they didn't like him to stay with them, although that was totally wrong. This story teaches us many things. A person must not misunderstand anyone until he or she is sure of it. We must not doubt anyone without confirmation. We must take care of our mother because she is the fruit of our life. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.